let's just go with something like gradient of the lines right in the middle um we got finding the gradient of a line and the first thing we're looking at is the video and in terms of the video i'm not going to play it here because it's going to get copyrighted claim um, you can see from the video that if you keep scrolling around it's a very well um, taught video teaching you how to do questions in particular um, if you go over here this is for segments you got over here that um, um, you got um, an explanation going on regarding what um, the gradient of line is how to find the gradient of a line and then you got questions that is being taken place such as find the gradient of the line that passes through 2 to 5 and 4 to 11 this is something that normally comes up for the gradient of the line question um, we, it's a simple free mark question which normally comes up in the exam uh, a lot of students um, are able to get a good free marks in the exam by using literally a formula and making use out of it this is pretty much a six minute video and if you go from the videos tab and you can just go to the gradient practice you click this then there's a lot of good questions here it's basically finding the gradient of the line that passes through the coordinates this one this one this one this one etc because when it comes to um this this is basically you can assume it as the textbook exercise the thing that we have to realize is that we're now moving from the old way of learning things now moving into a more digital format this is pretty much the way you guys have to suggest as it is the textbook exercises you'll see in your textbook exercises you have question one that you have 1a 1b 1c 1d 1e 1f you can see assume this is 1a 1b 1c 1d 1e 1f and you go so on so forth two three four five and in a column pre in a row each row is basically one number that's the way things are moving on right now we're making things more simple and when it comes to maths genie we don't need to waste our time getting a textbook then finding where the particular topic is then looking for where the questions are then reading through notes that's a little bit passive in my opinion that's why i do not recommend learning from textbooks or rather you make notes as we watch the videos when it comes to this um and the video the videos going on make sure you take notes or you watch it for the first time and then you watch it again when it comes to maths genie i think that is just enough just by itself to get a grade nine in gcse maths everyone is different some people just like just using maths genie only I also recommend other websites such as Seneca Learning. Um, that's something where I've done a few videos on how to use Seneca Learning, why you must use Seneca Learning. It's all at the top of the screen in terms of the cards. Um, there will be like pop-ups going on throughout the video suggesting they should check out this video, you should check out that video. Or you can just go into the channel and check all the videos from the channel. Or you can check in the description where I might highlight, check out this video, check out this video as well. Finding the gradient of a line is a is an important topic um, you can make notes as you watch this video for me i really didn't make notes i rather um, took the um, knowledge on but i made sure that i took the knowledge on properly at the end of the day it's knowing the information it's learning the information and making sure that it's into your brain that's an important part some people like to make notes it's good to do active revision some people like to learn passive but at the end of the day whether it's active or passive at the end of the day it has to be in your brain and that's where the mentality video comes in very important the secret mentality video because it's um, I explained a lot of important things there's another video that I highly recommend but when it comes to watching um, that video the mentality that you must have is how importantly you can take use of this information and apply it to yourself and that's something that is very very important to get the best out of getting a grade 9 in GCSE maths